Hey everybody, I know it's been about a month now since I made the last video, uh, but today I wanted to show off some of my Paramount tapes. These are the Gulf and Western variants. And the reason why I call them the Gulf and Western variants is because these are the tapes that when they were released, this is when Paramount was owned by Gulf and Western Industries. And the logo on the tapes had the Paramount logo with the Gulf and Western byline on it. And I've only got a few so far in my collection that I've had for a while. I thought I'd show some of them off. And I thought the best way to start off was showing off one of my all-time favorite non-Disney animated film Charlotte's Web this is the original 1973 version I didn't see the 2006 live-action remake I know I showed this off earlier this year I showed the opening to this tape yeah some of these I've um, shown off the openings and stuff and some I haven't I like this particular VHS release it's from 1988 I used to have the 1994 VHS release I've got it on DVD also Tape doesn't want to go back into the box. It's being kind of stubborn today. Alright, next one is one I'd previously shown off. Romeo and Juliet. This is the Franco Zeffirelli version. It came out in the 1960s. This is the one that I show the opening and closing to. Uh, I think this movie won an Academy Award, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, or... No, it was nominated for Academy Awards. It's still a pretty good movie. I've seen it maybe a couple of times. I uh, looked for the uh, VHS copy on eBay earlier this year, and I found this one. This is... Uh, yeah, the early 1980s copies, they had the Paramount Home Video logo. And they later got rid of that and they just had the just the Paramount logo. Next one is a movie I want to show off, is a tape I want to show off when I get the situation straightened out with my VCR. The Nutty Professor, the original with Jerry Lewis, who was one of the stars we lost this year, unfortunately. This is a pretty well-known comedy. I know people, when they think of The Nutty Professor, they think of the one that Eddie Murphy did. And the Eddie Murphy one is, meh, it's okay. But I would highly recommend the Jerry Lewis version. It's really funny. Jerry Lewis, he did a lot of slapstick comedy. I know he did a lot of work with um, uh, Dean Martin back in the day. And here's another one that's a personal favorite of mine. Saturday Night Fever. The 1977 version. This is the R-rated cut. I know the there was a PG version that came out on VHS too. This is the R-rated cut. Pretty well-known movie. This was before John Travolta did Grease. 
I don't have Grease. I mean, I have Grease on VHS, but it's a later pressing. It's uh, kind of an early 90s tape. Unfortunately, I can't get it out of the box right now. It's kind of stuck up in there. Next, we've got Daryl. Uh, I think this came out in 1985. It's got Barrett Oliver in it, who was in The NeverEnding Story. I've seen this movie. It was a long time ago. I've had this tape for a while, but I haven't played it yet. I barely remember the movie. I sh maybe I should sit down one day and watch it, but it's a pretty good movie from what I can remember. And some of these tapes are VHS Hi-Fi Stereo. On some of my tapes, the stereo logo is much bigger. And here's another one, if you're a Star Trek fan. It's Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. I don't have the original version on VHS. I do have it on DVD. I like Star Trek. Yeah, there's that's the same guy who was who did Fantasy Island and others. Yep. Next up, another personal favorite from the 1980s, Footloose, the original with Kevin Bacon. Really good movie. I like it. I have not seen the remake. I don't really care to see the remake. I know if... I, if, if any of you have seen the remake, it's nothing personal. I just uh, don't ever care to see the remake of a, of a movie. Unless it's good. But sometimes I'd prefer just to see the original and not the remake. And here... The next one I've got is The Godfather Part 2. And it came on two cassettes. Actually, that's cassette 1 and cassette 2. And the it come it came on two cassettes. Here's another movie. I've only got the sequel to I've only got the sequel to The Godfather on VHS. I don't have The Godfather, but I guess it's one of the tapes I need to get next year. And last but not least, this is another VHS tape I showed off earlier this year. Popeye with Robin Williams. And if you remember when I showed this video off, the opening to the tape, what's very interesting about this you'll notice it's the uh, 1980 box but the tape itself is a pressing from around 1988-1989 because it opens with the uh, feature presentation logo and it's certainly not a pressing it's certainly not the original VHS pressing as I ho hoped it was when I bought it on eBay, but I'm not disappointed. So there you have it. These are the tapes in my collection, the Paramount VHS tapes in my collection that have the Gulf and Western logo on them. These are the tapes that were distributed by Paramount Home Video before Gulf and Western Industries became Paramount Communications, which in turn became Viacom, or was dissolved into Viacom, rather. 
there you have it. My Gulf and Western Paramount Tate collection. And I will be updating this collection in 2018. See you all later. Have a good day.